certainly saw a few debate first tonight. And CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is breaking them all down. It was a debate night like no other ever. All of the top Democratic presidential contenders on the same stage at the same time facing off against each other as President Trump pulled off a coup of counter-programming. They say Buttigieg is two points up in the state of Texas against President Trump. I said, I don't think so. At the very moment the Democrats were attacking each other and the president in Houston. There's enormous, enormous opportunities once we get rid of Donald Trump. The commander in chief was in Baltimore returning the favor at a Republican congressional retreat. With the grim specter of socialism descending on the Democrat Party, it's up to all of us to ensure the survival of American liberty. Many of the issues tackled by the Democrats at the ABC News debate were familiar. Health care, racism, slave reparations, gun reform, immigration. Businessman Andrew Yang, a Manhattan resident, tried a new approach, saying that instead of spending money on TV ads and consultants, he would give it to voters. My campaign will now give a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month for an entire year to 10 American families. If you believe that you can solve your own problems better than any politician, go to yang2020.com. A centerpiece of the debate was a discussion of health care, the Medicare for All program pushed by Senators Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren that would force everyone into a national plan. I who wrote the damn bill, if I may say so. I read the bill. And on page 8, on page 8 of the bill, it says that we will no longer have private insurance as we know it. And that means that 149 million Americans will no longer be able to have their current insurance. Former Vice President Joe Biden and former HUD Secretary Julian Castro favor some type of private insurance. But it didn't stop them from arguing about Obamacare and whether you have to opt in to a public option. You would have to would buy in. Have to buy in. If you uh, qualify are, for you, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Being for I'm fulfilling, fulfilling the legacy of Barack Obama, and you're not. I'll be surprised to him. The former vice president interrupted by protesters near the end of the debate. Things are unimportant. <laughs> Senator Kamala Harris, who made a point of going after the president, blamed Trump for the surge in hate crimes. You know, obviously, he didn't pull the trigger, but he's certainly been tweeting out the ammunition. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker said he would establish a White House office of hate crimes and white supremacist violence. We have systemic racism that is eroding our nation from health care to the criminal justice system. While well, missing from the debate stage, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, who didn't make the cut because his poll numbers are too low and he doesn't have enough donors. He has until October 1st to qualify for the next debate. Morning, Christine. All right, Marcia, thank you. Thank you.